Hello, I'm Dr. Abstract, and this is a vid for the docs. And this one will be on SVG. So let's go into the docs now. We've broken up our asset. And it was an asset method of frame, or a global asset function that loads in pictures, of, uh, audio, or SVGs. We've broken that up into pick, odd, and SVG. So I'm going to take you through SVG now. So here's SVG. Vid was new. It's along the same lines, but shows a video. For SVG, there's two types of SVGs. One is an SVG that's been converted to a bitmap, although it scales quite well. Uh, it scales as a vector, but in the end, it is a bitmap that you're looking at. Uh, or it could be converted into a, an SVG container, which holds various Zim shapes that can be transformed, like a blob or a squiggle. So let me show you the, the two types. Uh, I'll click on this example right here. Pick vid odd and SVG. This is the, the example file for our new in Zim version, Zim 00. Zim 00. This is all new, so uh, the SVGs Hello. have just faded in right there. So there they are. Pick them up and drag them where the sound goes on. Those as well. So those can be scaled up and will look as crisp as can be, just fine. Those are uh, tiled, actually, tiled SVGs. So that's the one type. And the other one can be found, hmm, let's see, under examples, I think we can get to it there. SVG, this is when we first introduced the two types. So, oh, I guess both types are here. So there's SVG to bitmap. So it used to be called SVG to bitmap as a function. We didn't write that, somebody else did, and it converts SVG to a bitmap, including, I think, I think it will also convert SVG that's got styles and CSS and stuff in there. It's much easier to just take it and turn it into a picture than it is to take it and turn it into a blob, for instance. So here is an SVG container where, as you can see, that dress is uh, editable and it's been turned into a blob. <laughs> hey, what's going on here? <laughs> so, uh, nice hips. Um, this is the uh, an example of that. There's others as well. We did this back in Zim 10, and it was quite the endeavor to turn SVG into blobs. But we also turned them into squiggles or into rectangles, triangles, circles, ovals, etc. With uh, again the transform on there as well. So that's quite wonderful. And you can choose which one you want to do um, for that. So back in the docs, S oh, so these are linking through the SVG. Uh, both of those have been now, I guess, replaced by SVG right here. All right, uh, and by the way, uh, just so you know, we don't even have to use SVG. There's a lot of things that blobs and squiggles can do, uh, such as we can turn the paths editable we can animate objects on the path. They don't have to be. Blobs and squiggles can also be not editable. We just say interactive false, and then we can't interact with them. We can animate objects along the path. We can add beads to the path. We can animate the path itself. We can shape animate to go from one to the other. We can do hit tests on the path. So uh, lots of things that we can do with blobs and squiggles that SVG can't do unless you do some extra coding on that. And may as well show you paths here. So clicking through, this is um, a menu of various blobs that we've got. So if we pick that, that's like an SVG, except it's in Zim as a blob. So we can animate things along that and you can get the code. That's the code right there that you would put into your blob for that path. And if you want, you can find an SVG path as well and insert that right into a blob code uh, of Zim. So we don't really use SVGs, I hardly ever use them. The only time I would use them if, if something's already been made in SVG and we just want that like as an image in a sense. But otherwise, uh, most of the stuff we're doing is working with blobs on the side and squiggles like that. 
me drop down here and take a look at some other examples. Why don't we take you through that? Just, just so you know, for instance, here's a light show right here. When it play, those are blobs in the background, and we're animating the points of those blobs uh, to handle them. T bugs was an animating along paths. It was a while ago. Here we are dynamically adjusting paths. Uh, Groovity is all built along SVGs. Uh, well, not SVGs. Sorry, of paths. So those are Zim paths. We don't need SVGs. We didn't even think about using them. We wouldn't want to. Uh, so those are just some examples. Here's a hit test along a path. So what we've done is you see we put points along the Zim path. So this is the, the Zim Bezier handles. And this allows people to control these things, not just not just like somebody using Illustrator, etc. And then as we pick that up, if it hits those points, it's hitting. So isn't that neat? It can tell it's hitting the point. So that's hitting points along a path like that. That's an example of that. There's the whole Zim Neo series, which oh, there's shape tween. So uh, tweening from one path to another. Again, Zim paths. Take a look at that. So if I move that up there and hit reset, twang like that. It, uh, twang <laughs> animates the reset. Isn't that neat? Zim Neo, we did a lot of work with, with paths. Oh, here's editing paths. So there we've just chopped a path into different pieces. Here we have added a path onto a path. So that, that ends up joining those two squiggles together. There we've reversed the points. So we've reversed the points and therefore the thing is traveling along the path. Here we are making a blob that came from a bl blobs and squiggles. So we used two squiggles, or well, one, I don't know how many squiggles, and then made a blob from it. So we joined them together, and now it has a fill. So those are some editing uh, functionality that we added in Zim NFT. These other ones back here, it looked like those were from Zim Cat based, or maybe even Zim 10 based uh, were some of the ones back down here. These guys were in Zim 10. But Zim Neo is really where it, where it all happened. Uh, we're, we do a lot of NFTs, like that's all blob-based, like the jiving jelly. Check, take a look at the jiving jelly, if it will load in on time. We'll come back to it. Uh, Zinkle was some, oh, Zinkle again is an NFT. NFTs sometimes take a little bit of time to, to load in there. This one has because it's coming from the interplanetary file system. But take a look at that. That's blob work there. So again, we don't really need um, SVGs because we've got blobs that are allowing us to do that type of thing. Uh, I'll refresh that. So these are squiggles that are moving along the blobs like that. And we've remembered, it's very easy to remember the location of blobs as well, uh, blobs and squiggles because we have uh, the transform and transform manager. So all the, these are editable and we can change the path as it's going. Isn't that cool? So those are squiggles animating along blobs. And we're selling those as NFTs. That's not what I was trying to get to. I was trying to get to uh, boop, beep, beep. Zim Neo right here is when we introduced a lot of our work with paths. So there we are animating along paths to spell Zim Neo, but we can also drag along paths. So we pick that up and there's the path right there. We're dragging along a path and this path is editable. Isn't that cool? There we are dragging along the path. So uh, definitely you don't necessarily <laughs> need uh, SVGs, here's beads. Beads go on paths, so these beads are on a path there. This is a little mini site of things. There we are, a bunch of things on a path again. There's a bunch of beads on paths. Isn't that cool? Uh, by the way, these things can be edited, so if I hold the shift key, I'm now deleting um, the the 
things there. If I if I hold on it, so if I click on it and hold, it will delete as well. And now I've got just two of these things. There's all sorts of fun things that you can do. If I hold down the control key, now I can move both. Oh, hold down the control key. There we go. Uh, now I can move both. Oh, maybe I should be able to. Can I? That, are, are both those going white? Oh, I'm holding. I'm holding down the shift key. Sorry, I, I couldn't tell if those were white or not. So there they. Mm, white. Okay, white and. Nope, that toggled, didn't it? Yeah, I must have turned that off then, either that or it was pre that. Yeah, it might be pre that command. Let's see, click to add, uh, shift to hold, double tap, uh, double tap points. Um, Zim Neo was version nine. We've adjusted the blob controls a little bit since that time and you can multiple select these. I can't seem to get them to multiple select at the moment, so I'm not sure which key it was. Anyway, there's that. There's animating along uh, the paths that with uh, or that's with a sequence. So that sequence animation um, of beads along a path. There we are animating things along the path again. These happen to be, uh, and that path is once again editable. And we also introduced the ability to find the bounds of a blob and squiggle. Um, in Zim Neo as well. And in the latest version of Zim, we implemented that as default behavior. So now blobs and squiggles have uh, the bounds proper when we begin if we get points. So that's cool. All right, I know this was a docs on SVG, but uh, we it's really important that you know the what's available in Zim, I think, with blobs and squiggles. So you can also find those in the docs under blobs and squiggles. You can preload. So we recommend preloading the SVGs, although SVGs usually aren't that big, so you can lazy load them as well. So here's a lazy loaded SVG from an SVG file. Here's loading from an SVG tag. So you would probably display hidden that tag. Oh, crap, display none, yeah. Vis visible hidden. Anyway, display none, I think I'll have to adjust that in the docs. Um, and there's uh, using ZID, which is Zim's way of accessing an HTML tag. Or you could use document.getElementById if you really wanted to. And then the SVG tag. And then here we are tiling an SVG, note that we put the dimensions on it, otherwise we cannot tile. So if we've got a lazy loaded SVG, you need dimensions to use tile. Otherwise you'll get a console warning. Uh, if you wanted to, you could preload your SVG and then you wouldn't have to worry about that. So here's a preloaded SVG and there we are tiling it without needing dimensions, no dimensions, four by four four by four, but here we're giving it dimensions. So lazy loaded version, preloaded version, preloaded. That waits to the SVG to be loaded, all those, lot of the text in there. And then when that's loaded, we can use it directly. Here's uh, an SVG, boop, 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 that is an SVG container. So there we're taking that SVG and converting it into blobs and squiggles and stuff. Oh my. Okay, by passing in the false. The, that parameter is called duke, 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 bitmap. Do you want a bitmap version of it? So if you say false there, then you're going to get an SVG container. That would be the same as adding that in to an SVG container. And you can find out more about an SVG container under SVG. So there's SVG and go again. SVG container tells you uh, all about that, but it also basically says you can use SVG to do this now. Okay. There's SVG to bitmap, same deal. We can now use SVG, see SVG for loading the SVG now. All right, well, I'm Dr. Abstract. That's been some information for the docs of SVG. Um, oh, I think there is one more thing thing that um, I just remembered is that's to take a look at the properties of the SVG. There aren't too many, but we looked, uh, did we look at the methods? You can key out a background color. That's kind of cool. 
of the bitmap version, okay? So if it's a bitmap, then you've got the key out ability. And there's the type, um, and there's the access to a bitmap if it's got the bitmap inside. I think it always does. You'll always have that even if it's an SVG container. But if it's an SVG container, we don't see it. And then there's a reference to the actual SVG code is SVG. All right, now I am Dr. Abstract. Have a great day or night. And please come visit us, zimjs.com slash slack, zimjs.com slash discord. We'd love to answer any questions you have there or see what you're working on. Just come hang out with us. That'd be great. Cheers.